Two-Minute Theology, question number two. Why do we gravitate toward evil instead of good? Why does free will steer us toward bad decisions? I think firstly, one thing to say is that we don't always steer towards evil. Most of the time, we do choose to do good. We do the right thing. But sometimes we stray away. And this is one of the unfortunate results of original sin is that there was at one time a perfect harmony between our body and our soul, and this became ruptured in the garden, and original sin entered, and death and illness and sickness entered the human race. And we call this steering towards sin or evil concupiscence. It just means that there is a sometimes a strong desire and urge from the body, from our senses, to choose what is not good for us. And this is what we would call sin or evil, choosing sin or evil. And the word sin means to miss the target, to miss the mark. And so sometimes we miss the mark and we choose to do it with our free will. And this is the gift and the curse of our free will is that we have this great opportunity to choose God and to love him and to love others or we can choose sin and evil. And this is to miss the mark. And we do this because we think it's good for us. St. Thomas would always say we choose sin always under the aspect of the good. We think this is going to be good for me. And then we find out it's not. It hurts us and it hurts our soul. So this is why the sacraments, our prayer life, help us stay on the path to always hit the mark to choose what is good for us for human flourishing. The spirit is willing, but the flesh is weak. Prayer, sacraments, and fasting sharpens us to say no when we think evil is good for us. God bless you.